drama right until the end. Let's welcome in Stuart Robson, who's going to be pitch side for us this weekend and in the booth for Dortmund's game on Saturday. And we've also got a former Eintracht Frankfurt player and a Bundesliga superfan in the form of <laughs> Jan Agafiatov. Let me start with you then, Jan. Are Bayern just going to win it all again? Well, we always used to say that Bayern are their worst enemy. And then we tried that version last season, that being their worst enemy. So now we've got to manage to lose the championship, won't we, Bayern said. No. Then Dortmund decided we don't win at home against Mainz, where we've been so good all season. So then they sent the trophy to Bayern. And yes, I think Bayern will win it again. Because it's not only Harry Kane. They've got a striker one year too late. But they've got a great defender in, in Kim. They've got a great midfielder in Lima. If they now sort out their keeper position, they could win it before Christmas, couldn't they, Stevie? Yes, Jan and, I, Jan and I have this conversation at the start of every season <laughs> and generally it goes the same way. Okay. And it's not going to change this year either. OK, well, I do know that Stuart Robson actually does have a few <laughs> questions of whether Bayern have got the right coach in place right mm. now. What have you got oh. to say about that, Stuart? Uh, well, when he took over from Nagelsmann, uh, everybody thought that Nagelsmann wasn't going to win the Bundesliga. They thought they weren't going to go too much further in the Champions League and they had to make a big decision. And they brought in Thomas Tuchel and he won the first game against Dortmund uh, uh, quite comfortably. They were think they were 3-0 up after 20 minutes. But since then, and I think they were lucky to win the title last year, Dortmund gave it to them in that last day. I'm not sure they've developed as a side. I'm not sure he's got all the players on side. I think there's not a great team spirit there at the moment. He's made one or two issues about Kimmich playing as the, the number six. There's obviously issues about the goalkeeping position. He's had a great sign-in in Harry Kane. He could be the saviour for him. But I think that uh, Tuchel has been given more power uh, with, with a couple of people leaving in yeah, the hierarchy. Yeah. But overall, I don't think he's made this team any better Maybe with Kane, it's a totally different proposition. We'll only find out when we start the season. But at the moment, I don't think he's done a great job at, at Bayern Munich. Do, will, will Kane solve all problems? I just We are all positive about Harry Kane. It's a big statement of the German Bundesliga. It's a big statement of Bayern. I just remind everybody that the same thing was said about Sadio Mane one year ago, a superstar to German football. That was a failure. I don't think that will happen to, to Harry Kane. But I think in the dressing room of Bayern there's something wrong. And I'll just, if I may, just say the keeper situation. So Wednesday, that'd be yesterday, that this committee met up and they were discussing. They've been discussing every goalkeeper in the world now. Every goalkeeper in the world. They tried to get to Bayern. And then suddenly yesterday there was a decision that Sven Ulreich, who has now been the second goalkeeper, he should be number one. So what they will say to goalkeepers is, please come to Bayern. Because he will be second goalkeeper and when Manuel Neuer will be honest with us and say when he'll be fit again, if he'll be fit again, then you are the third goalkeeper. So I think that is a quite symbol of what everything is wrong at Bayern now. You have a keeper who's been injured because of a stupid ski trip who is deciding who can, who can, how, how good they will be this is. I think it might be that Harry Kane will be the saviour for Thomas Tuchel here. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean... You know, Jan was talking about there's a, he thinks there's a problem in the dressing room. When you sign three players like Lyme or Kim and Harry Kane, it sort of it sort of blows a lot of the cobwebs and a lot of the gloom and doom that may have been in a dressing room, and particularly on the field as well. You know, everybody gets an extra an extra little pep in their in the, in the step. And for me, there's no question, Kane's going to score goals. And one of the problems last year, particularly towards the end of the season when Tuchel came in, he always complained about how they were in total control of a game and then, and then from nowhere they would lose goals. Well, with Harry Kane, when you're in total control of the game, you're going to score goals because they didn't have a centre forward. And goals completely change games and they completely change a team. They change the way a team thinks. And, and this, that, that game with Leipzig at the weekend for me, they had an 18-year-old tail up front who actually could have put them ahead and scored two or three goals. If that's Harry Kane, it completely changes the whole game. So we're not talking about, oh, what a terrible start, and then we're talking about Tuchel. And I, I absolutely agree with Robbo about Tuchel. He's done absolutely nothing for this team since he got there. But you know what? When, you're, when your bosses go and sign Kim, Lima, and then Harry Kane, 
I'll tell you what. Mm, it, it, there's not a lot of coaching needs to do because he's... Because these three are going to change this team big time. Yeah, Thomas Tuchel absolutely wanted Harry Kane in this side as well, Robbo, this season. And he's just been waxing lyrical about him since he's joined as well, even apologising to Harry Kane about that loss last weekend. Absolutely. And I think Harry Kane fits their style of play perfectly and the players around him. Because you look at Gnabry, you look at Sane, you look at Kingsley Coman. They're players that like to run beyond the centre forward. They're great in open space. They've got plenty of pace. They can run beyond, beyond Harry Kane as he drops that little bit deeper. Musiala is a clever football. He wants to play little one-twos in and around the box. Who's better to play little one-twos with than Harry Kane? I think he, his style of play, him as a person, him as a player, fits the other players in those front positions perfectly. It's, it's a great fit. Like, talking about fits, obviously Lewandowski was let go, Jan. Is it, is it interesting to you to see that Kane's come in to a role that Lewandowski was essentially playing just a couple of seasons ago? Yes, uh, and you can compare them because you feel that Harry Kane can play as a number 10, he can play as a 9.5, he can play a 9. And, but I will say that, and I'm one of the biggest fans of Lewandowski around, but I will say that he, uh, Harry Kane is even a, even a more team player. I think that Harry Kane can make his teammates even better, as Robbo was talking about. I think there's a lot of these young players around, especially Musiala. I can imagine in three, four, five years' time, he will say, the years I had with Kane made me a better player. Lewandowski was a team player, but he loved scoring his goals as well. I mean, that was very, very important for him, as it is for Harry Kane. But you just feel that he maybe is a more team player. And another thing, just to add to what Robbo said about that position is that, or now Stevie was talking about, if, if you get that 1-0, the 1-0 goal scorers should never be overestimated. They are so important. And you can have strikers, but you can have strikers who score goals, but you need strikers who can score that massive 1-0 because then the game open up and, and the teams look more comfortable. And Bayern didn't have that last year, and that's why... One of the reasons why they were struggling and also conceding goals. And with Kim, now they got one of the best around. So they've had a good transfer window, Bayern. Let me just stick with you, Jan, if I can, because obviously you've talked about the boost that Kane is for Bayern. But how big a boost is he for the Bundesliga? Oh, massive. Uh, imagine, I mean, that is a lot to do with self-confidence because, because of the 50 plus one rule, meaning that they can't even have those kind of investors. They don't have the resources that a lot of other or some other leagues have. And Haaland will be taken away from them. Sancho has been taken away from them by the Premier League. La Liga has taken Bellingham and Lewandowski. And now this thing for the Germans to take the England team captain, the Spurs captain, the second most or, or, or the, the, the third year is goals in the Premier League, striker from the Premier League. This is massive for them. That was a confidence boost for them. And we should never underestimate that the old guys, Rummenig and Hernes, are back because this was a statement for them. They have the confidence to go there and Harry Kane was priority number one. I can't think of a player who can more boost them, potential than the Bundesliga this year because they lack that global name, that global brand uh, at Bayern uh, and in the Bundesliga. And Harry Kane now, they got one. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.